Good morning. And welcome to Good Morning Australia. A very happy Friday morning to you. It is lovely to be here after the surprise of my life last night, which you may have seen last night, but the surprise actually happened to me. I thought, our lead guest for this morning. <laughs> Who didn't turn And I special. Isn't that one of them? Yes. <laughs> Never been the lead guest. Oh, by the way, our lead guest this morning appears by courtesy of the wonderful Crown Entertainment <laughs> Complex. Uh, also, Feathers have provided her clothes for this morning. Uh, her clothing is to the stars. Uh, also, Edward Beale has done her, her hair exclusively. See how happy he looks, too. Yes. And also, her teeth are per courtesy of the finest <laughs> dental expert in Australia. The one, the only, Dr. Derry Rogers. Oh, yes, look at that. Do you know, you make, <laughs> so far as plugs are concerned, you make Philip Brady look like a Cister Cistercian monk. I, I knew you were going to say Philip well, Brady. Well, I didn't know I was going to say Cistercian. That's why I couldn't get that. <laughs> How are you? I'm very good. I should have married Philip. We would have had a wonderful contra deal. Oh, yes, it's been very interesting, the, the two of you having a wonderful time there with all your co-sponsors. Okay. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Why did you do it? How did you I do it? don't. don't How was it no. organised? Oh, look, it was very tedious, very tedious. But, you there know. There I was sitting in Sydney doing my 47th advertorial for the day. So All of a sudden, Mike Munro came in. Jeannie Little, who was a total plant. <laughs> I thought it was for Jeannie. All of a sudden, a touch on the shoulder by Mike. I thought, hello, hello, hello. Can't be Mike, he hasn't knocked the door down. But yeah, there he was, and look at Mother there. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. And the first thought I had was, if I'm on This Is Your Life, I'll be on the wrong side. <laughs> because Mike works on my side. I know. Do you know, I thought of that when it all happened. I thought, oh, he couldn't do it because he's always said, oh, that'd be no good for me. It's on my bad side. Yes. So there you go. But who cared, though? It was a wonderful, wonderful night. It was How fabulous, hard, wasn't it? How difficult was it for you to, to keep that secret? Oh, it was very hard because you know how inquisitive you are and it, you are the hardest person in the world to keep a secret from because, you. you know, you want to know the ins and outs of everything. Well, why not? But it was, it was OK. It got better as the, as the time went on because, you know, I, I kept giving them lists and talking about it and I was getting quite excited about it, so it made it easier. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was still a little oh, bit worried. Oh, there's Brother Austin. That was an absolute thrill to see him. He is such a great man, one of my earliest teachers, Mara's brother, Brother Austin. And uh, that's... Uh, who's that? Oh. Oh, that's you! <laughs> nice Thank of you, you. To, uh, to turn up. I thought yes. it was one of the Seven Dwarfs there for a second. Yes, no, I'm in my funeral outfit. Yeah, how did you... Uh, <laughs> uh, how did you... And there are the kids, oh. looking absolutely beautiful. I thought they were fabulous, actually. They were wonderful. Very proud of them. And, uh, and Morton, of course, it was just great to, uh, to see him. Two wonderful, wonderful kids. And they had a terrific time, didn't they? They did. They absolutely that loved it. Really actually, good. everyone that yeah. was involved loved it. Oh, there oh, you what? go. Oh, this is the closing song, which I love. Don't you recall? Every sing I sung, I birthed the sing. <laughs> That's what you... I was standing right beside you, and it was just one. Every sing I song, uh, I birthed for sing. Oh, joke. But you know why? Because that wasn't really my line. It was Tony Lamont's, but she had oh, to leave. Why blame somebody else? <laughs> and if you are, don't name them. Oh, well, it was OK, because Tony did it so beautifully, it was OK for me to mess it up. Mm. But uh, an emotional night. I, I mean, I've had it done before, 18 years ago, but and that was very special, but something... Uh, on the show that you saw last night. I mean, it really, for me, at the time, it was very emotional because there are a number of people there that I really hadn't seen for a long time. I mean, Michael Cole, I hadn't seen him since he was uh, last on the Logies. And some of the friends that they managed to get from my, my television and radio days, and my, also my school days, it was just, just terrific. Yes, it was lovely. I mean... Wonderful they're... experience. I mean, you do sit there, concerned about who's going to come through the, <laughs> the door next. My favourite memory... Uh, didn't happen on camera. Now, uh, Patty and I are so close that we almost, you know, if Patty has a touch of arthritis, I get a touch of arthritis too. And in the first commercial break, it was obvious that Patty was very excited and very nervous about the whole thing. And her mouth went dry, and she said, uh, You enjoying it, Brad? And I said, Yeah, it's going very well, thank you. And Mike Munro. <laughs> Mike Munro must have seen this and came across during the commercial break and said, excuse me, Patty, would you like a glass of water? And Patty said, uh, no, I'm, I'm fine, thank you, Mike. It's going very well. But this is the tag. Mike said, what about you, Bert? Would you like a glass of water? No, I'm, I'm right. <laughs> True. I was thinking of any strangers who were in the audience, maybe from overseas, who happened to find a you know, seat in the studio, they'd think, oh, isn't that wonderful? They obviously love each other. And isn't it wonderful they're paying tribute to this disadvantaged couple <laughs> <laughs> sitting there? And that happened 
on another occasion, a little later on, during a commercial break, and then we were fine, but mm. that must have been the most hilarious of conversations. I know. Well, you see, my teeth went all dry because yes. I was a bit nervous. Can't Barry Rogers fix that for you? No, I thought like that, and I thought, <laughs> I can't get a lip down. Yes. And do you know something? Just between you and me, I think once he saw that happen, I think it might have affected Mike too, because he came back afterwards and said, but I think it's going better. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then I time. left. You went to get some more water and you drank the whole jug. Yes. Well, I think you helped me share that. I also want to say, uh, in seeing Brother Austin there, as you know, I'm, I'm so close to the, uh, the Maris brothers, and I know another brother would have been there on the night, but his health has not been 100% in recent times, and he's in the, the Bendigo community of the Maris brothers. Uh, Brother Cleophus, I just want to say hello to uh, this great man. It would have been the icing on the cake had he been able to make it, but it, it wasn't to be. And if you're watching this morning, brother, from the thousands upon thousands of uh, boys you've educated over the years, a great big thank you. And, uh, and also thanks to Brother Austin. It was terrific to, yes. uh, to see him. Well, thank you for doing uh, oh, all look, of that organisational stuff. Well, weeks and weeks and weeks. Well, the lead-up to it, I think, was, was very nerve-wracking, you know. Yeah. I mean, everybody... And I gave them a list, and, of course, they don't use all the people that are on the list. So anybody that hates me that you know, didn't actually get involved. Yeah. It was, there's a lot of eliminations that have yeah. to happen. I tell you, I was very nervous. Who? Mum. Was she? You, yeah, she wasn't on, but she came up to Sydney. She was so nervous that when we're on, it was the day of the plane strike. Yes. So, you know, the planes were all delayed and everything, and she was so nervous that when she got in the plane, she Tell undid... Tell her quickly or we'll have to drop the surprise. She, yeah, she, <laughs> she undid her top button, yes. and when it was time to get out of the plane, she forgot to do it up and her pants fell down oh. just as she went down the thing. <laughs> and folks, I can tell you, not a pretty oh, sight. Don't. Please thank Patricia Antares, Bernadette uh, McLeod. Uh, 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 just, just before... You say that. There we is a have, surprise. Yes, we do have a one cake? little one little extra thing for you. Hello, hello, Don't hello, be hello, John. Hello, hello. One oh. more time. It's going to be every <laughs> sing I song I put for sing. <laughs> Everything I do, I do for Bert. Everything I do, I do for Bert. Some folks say. Bert's not much, but they like his gentle touch. So everything I do, I do for Bert. Take it, John. Every note I play, I play for Bert. And all those gags each day, I tell for Bert. Some folks say Bert's a dag. He likes to dress in drag But everything I do I do for Bert Key change Everything we do We do for Bert Everything we do We do for Bert After this is your life I'm surprised I'm still his wife Thank you, Patricia Ann. Thank you, John. <clears throat> Two of the favourite people in my life. One I sleep with, and of course the other my wife. No. <laughs> John Foreman and Patricia Ann Therese, Bernadette McGrath-Newton. And also on today's show, we welcome Piers Brosnan, who's a very special guest on GMA. Tony Collette, who's in a brand new movie, which is a beauty. Peter Brock has a brand new video out, which is called The Legend. Shane Bourne is going to video review for us, as only he can. And Gabrielle Gatte is going to cook for us in the kitchen, as only he can. And I didn't introduce officially the one, the only, music director on GMA, Dr John Foreman. <laughs> Officially, good morning to you, John. Hello, Bert. And look, can I just add my congratulations on last night's show? I was honoured to be a part of it, and it was very exciting for me. And I have an exclusive here, Bert. Of course, yes. as you know, This Is Your Life celebrates the lives of, of big, prominent Australians. Yes. And I can reveal exclusively the first subject of This Is Your Life for next year. It's going to be based on the life of this great Australian show business celebrity. Wonderful. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. 
That might be my monitor. Who the hell is that? That's uh, Belvedere's mother, Joanne. Is that Joanne? Yes. <laughs> it's exciting news, Could isn't I it? Can I have Bert? a look again, please, Bob, I'll at Joanne? Just, I'll just rewind the tape. Yeah, look, oh, I see it's on the tape. Oh, well, <laughs> we'll look. I've got to see her in that new shot. Yes. She looked absolutely... I think she took what I've been saying literally. There She's she had is. a cut in the polish. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the funny hat she... Oh, that's lovely. Is that... Oh, that's for real, is it? Very oh, Joanne, I'm sorry. Yes. She looks absolutely beautiful and so happy, too. Well, there you go. Once the screaming dies down, let me tell you now, right after the break on GMA, Tony Collette and this brand new movie of hers, which is a beauty. It's called Diana and Me.